introducing the Solero Microwave Tissue Ablation System. The Solero Microwave Tissue Ablation System and accessories are indicated for the ablation of soft tissue during open procedures. The system also includes the optional foot switch and the mains power cable. System Setup Start by connecting the mains power cable to the back of the generator. Then turn the system on by using the toggle switch located on the back of the unit. Once the power is switched on, the system will run through a series of automated self-checks to ensure it is functioning properly. The user may change the language of the system during the system initialization phase by pressing the button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Using the scroll bar, you can select the desired language by pressing the checkbox on the left. English is the default language. The Solero system will automatically enter standby mode after initialization and language selection. Next, the system will prompt the user to Connect Applicator in the top right corner of the screen. The applicator includes the applicator tip, applicator shaft, applicator handle, applicator tubing, applicator cartridge, coolant pump tubing, pump clip, and the coolant reservoir spike. Next, attach the Solero applicator cartridge to the face of the generator. Select the check mark to clear the applicator not detected prompt. Once the applicator is connected, the applicator icon will illuminate solid white. The Solero system will remain in standby mode and prompt the user to turn on pump. The pump should not be turned on until tubing has been attached. Remove the cap on the tubing set spike and insert the spike in a minimum of 1,000 milliliter saline source. A 3,000 milliliter chilled saline source may also be used to increase the amount of time before the cooling reservoir needs to be replaced. To ensure proper fluid movement, hang the saline source higher than the generator such as on an IV pole. Once the bag is spiked, open the pump housing cover and load the tubing set into the Solero generator pump. The pump clip should be loaded into the pump clip holder on the left side of the pump. Close the pump housing cover. Once the tubing is connected, press the pump on-off switch to turn on the pump. The system will now be in ready mode and time and power can be adjusted. Using the up-down arrow buttons, adjust the time and power settings based on the desired ablation diameters. Before placing in the target tissue for ablation, place the tip of the applicator into a container of sterile water or saline and activate the device at 100 watts for 10 seconds to ensure that the system is functional. Device Placement Using imaging guidance, such as ultrasound or CT, determine the target location for ablation and insert the Solero applicator using clinician-preferred methods. Next, place the transition of the stainless steel shaft and the ceramic tip at the center of the intended area of ablation. Make sure that the black shaded area on the metal shaft of the device is fully embedded into the tissue. Once ablation time and power settings are set, the system can be activated by using either the foot switch or the microwave power button on the upper right side of the generator's front panel. When microwave energy is initiated, the button will turn from green to blue, and the top indicator bar of the screen will switch from ready to active. Once delivery of microwave energy is activated, the timer will begin to count down from the set time to zero. The output power, or delivered power, will be displayed to the right of the timer. When the timer reaches zero, the power delivery is automatically stopped. The system reads ablation complete and returns to ready mode. The user may stop the ablation at any time during the procedure by pressing the microwave power button or the foot switch. If stopped, the system will display the ablation aborted message 
and return to the ready mode. If the ablation is restarted, the timer will reset to the original time setting noted in the upper right corner of the time window, not the remaining time. If desired, track ablation can be performed during the removal of the applicator. This can be selected in ready mode by selecting the track mode button in the upper left corner. The generator defaults to 100 watts and the time may be set from 0 to 1 minute and 30 seconds in 5 second increments. Take care to stop energy delivery once the applicator reaches the minimum insertion depth. Ending the procedure. Once the procedure is complete, remove the applicator from the patient. Turn off the pump and disconnect the applicator from the front of the generator by pressing the retention clips on both sides and pulling on the cartridge firmly. Open the pump housing door and remove the tubing set. Remove the spike from the saline bag. Dispose of the Solero applicator according to state and hospital policies pertaining to sharps and biohazard handling procedures. Finally, power down the system using the back panel toggle switch. Screen colors. The system uses color coding to make the state of the system clear to the user. Green screen borders mean the system is functioning properly and ready to begin an ablation. When the screen status bar is blue, the microwave energy is active. During this time, the timer will be counting down to zero and the delivered power may decrease as compared to the user input setting as tissue changes occur. The system will display an orange status bar or warning dialog when conditions exist that inhibit microwave delivery. Progress may not continue until the dialog is acknowledged and the underlying anomalous condition is corrected. If the screen status bar is yellow, a reboot of the entire system is required. Troubleshooting The Connect Applicator notification will be displayed when the applicator is not detected. During initial procedure setup, connect the applicator to the front of the generator and the condition will clear automatically. If the applicator is disconnected during use, the microwave delivery will cease until the applicator is reconnected. The Turn On Pump notification will be displayed when the applicator is connected, the pump housing cover is closed, and the pump is not running properly. Ensure the pump tubing is properly loaded and the pump clip is in place before activating the pump. The Close Pump Cover notification will be displayed when the pump housing cover is opened and the applicator is connected. If the pump is running when the cover is opened, the system will stop it. The pump may not be restarted while the cover is open. The system will display the coolant temperature warm notification when the applicator temperature sensor detects the coolant to be hotter than 38 degrees Celsius. The coolant source should be replaced as soon as convenient to ensure uninterrupted performance. While this notification does not present a risk to the patient or end user, if the temperature rises above 48 degrees Celsius, the system will abort an ablation that is in progress. The coolant hot warning will be displayed when the applicator temperature sensor detects the coolant to be hotter than 48 degrees Celsius. If an ablation is in process when this occurs, the system will abort and return to standby mode. The warning must be acknowledged by pressing the check mark button on the right side of the prompt and replacing the coolant source before the ablation can be restarted. The coolant fault will be displayed when the applicator temperature sensor detects the coolant to be hotter than 52 degrees Celsius. If an ablation is in process when this occurs, the system will abort and enter the system error state. This may occur if the temperature at the applicator tip spikes or if the coolant flow is restricted or stopped. Replace the coolant and wait two minutes to allow the tissue to cool and then restart the system. If the error immediately recurs, it may be necessary to reposition the tip into cooler tissue or replace the applicator completely. The ablation complete prompt will indicate that the ablation has completed when the time remaining reaches zero. If, however, the ablation procedure is interrupted through the use of the microwave activation button or through the use of the foot switch, 
the system will display the ablation aborted prompt. If the end user attempts to initiate microwave power without the time set to a value greater than zero seconds, the system will display the time not set warning. Set the time and retry. If the reflected power exceeds the preset threshold, abort the ablation. At this point, microwave energy is unable to be effectively transferred from the applicator tip into the targeted tissue due to desiccation. Several sources are possible for this warning message. Please refer to the Solero Generator Operator's Manual for troubleshooting. The invalid pump speed warning will be displayed if the pump speed is outside the preset tolerance. If an ablation is in process, it will be aborted to maintain safety. If this occurs, open the pump housing cover and inspect the tubing. Also, ensure that the tubing is properly loaded, then retry. All other system errors will be the result of an underlying problem with the system that the user will be unable to correct. These errors will have a unique system error number assigned to them and will be unrecoverable, at which point the system should be shut down. Please report these errors to Angio Dynamics for technical support.